Good day and welcome to Worship Online here on Palm Sunday. Uh, we hope that uh, following along with the bulletin and uh, uh, some of the uh, hymns on YouTube that you'll be able to join us for worship, to cut out a, a, a palm branch and color it or, or cut some branches in your yard uh, so that you can wave your palms. We'll have uh, uh, devotions uh, written and prepared for you to look at online for Monday and Tuesday, readings from Matthew's Gospel, and then uh, liturgy for Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday will be posted uh, later in the week, as well as uh, the Easter Vigil on Holy Saturday. Uh, it's our hope that uh, through using these resources and gathering together uh, as we shelter in place, that this will be meaningful for you as we mark the passion of our Lord. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the 21st chapter. Glory to you, O Christ. When Jesus and the disciples had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you. And immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this. The Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. We praise you, O God, for redeeming the world through our Savior Jesus Christ. Today, he entered this holy city in triumph and was proclaimed Messiah and King by those who spread garments and branches along his way. Bless these branches and those who carry them. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross, so that joined to his death and resurrection, we may enter into life with you through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ. Amen.
Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Sovereign God, you have established, established your rule in the human heart through the servanthood of Jesus Christ. By your spirit, keep us in the joyful procession of those who with their tongues confess Jesus as Lord and with their lives praise him as Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The first reading comes from Isaiah 50, verses 4 through 9a, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear, to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your heart. Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant. Being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place, and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, 
in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. So I've got a question for you guys. Have you ever been to a sports game or a music concert? Raise your hand. Yeah, I think everybody's been to a sports game or a music concert. What are some things that people do to cheer on the athletes and the musicians when they're playing their games and their instruments? What are some things they do? You can raise your hand and I'll call on you. All right, Desora, what are some things people do? They cheer for the team they're going for. Okay, so they cheer. Reed, what do people do to cheer to cheer those athletes on and those musicians? Oh. One of the three Ps? They give a standing ovation. Okay, a standing ovation. That happens a lot. Then they say bravo. And what do they do, Presley? They say bravo. Bravo. Bravissimo. How about they also uh, scream Barbara? their lungs out. They scream their lungs out, like when, especially I'm when you're in a kids. sports game. I'm Everybody's going, <laughs> Right? What, what are some other things people do to cheer on athletes and musicians? They say we. They say we. Anything else? I think that's what they do in France. What do they do, Blake? They clap. They clap. Yeah. So, so maybe if, if they're golf, golfing, they do the golf clap. And maybe if they're like at a football game, they're like. Ah. Yep, it's pretty cool. Have you ever seen bands at sports games? Yeah. 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 They play music, right? Right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Have you ever seen people wave things, especially at a sports game? What sort of things do people wave? Flex. Flex. They wave their phones at a music concert. What do they wave? Phones. Like with their flashlights. Oh, it's like at a music, like a rock concert. They wave their phones mm -hmm. like a flashlight. That's an awesome. Yeah. Have you ever seen Imagine Dragons? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm screaming at you and you don't even know I am. Harper, what, what, what else do people do? They wave. Oh, I'm having a hard time hearing you, Harper. What did she say? Okay, so they, they put something in the air. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Stetson, what else do they wave in the air? Foam hands. Foam hands. Look what I have. Fun. It's a foam hand. Usually, usually it has like a number one, like we are number one. But this is a, a Lutheran foam hand, which is peace be with you. You know what else they do? Sometimes they wave towels. Oh, yeah. If you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, they have the terrible towel and they wave it. <laughs> the terrible towel. So, people wave. Hat claw. What's that? What did you say? Hats? Hats, foam claw. Oh, foam claw. Foam claws. How about you, Brooks? What do people wave? They don't wave it, but they sing the national anthem. And they sing the national anthem. So, there are all sorts of ways to cheer on our musicians and our athletes. Now, when Jesus was coming into Jerusalem on the donkey, oh, what did people wave? What did they wave? Yeah, Peyton? Palm leaves. Yeah, palm leaves. <laughs> palm leaves, yeah. The Gospel of John said they waved palm leaves. And you know what? I wish that we could be in the sanctuary today and, and walking down the aisle and waving our palm branches. But since we can't be there, we'll do the next best thing. And we're going to wave the palm branches that you've made. So if you guys could get those out. And we're going to wave them. We're going to pretend like we're in the sanctuary. And then I'm going to sing part of All Glory, Laud, and Honor while you do that. You guys think you can do that? All right, here we go.
All glory, laud, and honor to the Redeemer King. In the lips of children, made sweet Hosanna ring. Thou art the King of Israel, thou David's royal son. Who in the Lord's name comes, the King and blessed. All right, one more time through. Let's get those waving. All glory, God, and honor to the Redeemer King. In the lips of children, may sweet Hosanna's ring. Dear Christian friends, grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. It is good to be here with you in our virtual worship setting. I've been praying for you and with you during this time of sheltering in place. And I've seen some of you at our virtual coffee hour. And please join us at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. And I've seen some of you at the Saturday morning men's Bible study uh, via Zoom. I miss you. I miss seeing you. I miss talking with you and I miss worshiping, learning, and serving alongside of you. I trust we will see each other again after this is all over. In the meantime, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God, save us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We are not the first people to shout these words. We are not the first people to praise God and to ask God to save us. These are words shouted by the crowds when Jesus entered Jerusalem on a donkey arriving as a humble king. Hosanna, praise God. Blessed is he who's, who comes in the name of the Lord. The crowd is quoting Psalm 118, a great psalm in the Jewish tradition. God's people throughout the ages have called upon God to praise God and to ask for God's help. In Jerusalem, the crowds praise God and hail the king who enters the city on a donkey. I was talking on the phone with my former choir director yesterday. Jennifer's father had died earlier in the week. We asked each other what is sustaining us during these unusual times. We both agreed it was our Christian faith, faith that God will act because God has acted before on our behalf. Hosanna, praise God, save us. Keep the faith. That's how I ended a phone call with my brother John earlier this week. Keep the faith was spoken by our father during many times during his lifetime to help us as a family endure countless moves and changes in our lives. Keep the faith seems to help now during these times. Hosanna, praise God, save us. I spoke with a member whose father was a farmer during the Great Depression. Her father, unable to raise crops because of dust bowl conditions, was hired by the WPA in the 1930s to help build a dam in Montana. Betty's faith was shaped by the hard times she and her family endured. Hosanna, praise God, save us. Many of our grandparents and great-grandparents came to this land from other lands, ravaged by plagues, economic hardship, and war. Many of them were sustained by their faith in God's saving plans. Hosanna, praise God, save us. And so here we are now in the midst of a pandemic that has turned our world upside down. Do we dare cry out, Hosanna, praise God, save us? 
Are we willing to trust that God will act through God's Son for the sake of the world that God loves? Hosanna, praise God, save us. I invite you to stay engaged during this coming Holy Week. Even though we won't be able to gather in this space, we will, we will be able to gather in our homes and virtually on our computers, smartphones, and tablets. God's salvation plan will be revealed to us once again through the actions and the words of His Son, Jesus. Faith sustained our forebears through hard times and let it sustain us now as we cry with the crowds that welcome Jesus into Jerusalem. Hosanna, praise God, save us. Amen. We join with Christians around the world with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again, and he ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Turning our hearts to God, who is gracious and merciful, we pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of steadfast love and mercy, awaken your church to new proclamations of your faithfulness. By your Spirit, give us bold and joyful words to speak, that we may sustain the world's weary with the message of your redemption. We pray for these congregations of the Montana Synod, American Lutheran in White Sulphur Springs, and Shepherd of the Valley Lutheran in Townsend. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of mercy, your creation is hurting because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Bless the labor of doctors, nurses, 
healthcare workers, scientists, engineers, and researchers who are seeking to find ways to restore all your creation to health and wholeness. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of mercy, drive away fear and anger that cause us to turn against one another. Unite us in our common humanity to love you and to love the neighbor in need. Hear us, O God. Your, your mercy, mercy is great. God of mercy, send your saving help to all who suffer abuse, insult, discrimination, or contempt. Heal the sick and the wounded. Comfort the dying. Bring peace to those suffering chronic or terminal illness. Tend to all who cry out for relief, especially Shane, Donna, Linda, Ken, Mary, Bill, Bob, Duncan, Luke, and Joel. Hear us, O oh God. Your, Your mercy is great. God of mercy, we pray for all who prepare and lead worship in this coming Holy Week. In all things, show us the ways that you call us to die to self, to live for you, and to give of ourselves for the sake of others. Hear us, O God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is great. Prayers of the congregation are invited. for the silent longings in our hearts. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. God of mercy, when we breathe our last, you raise us to eternal life with you. With all your witnesses in heaven and on earth, let us boldly confess the name of Jesus Christ, our resurrection and our hope. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. According to your steadfast love, O oh God, hear these and all our prayers as we commend them to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us exchange with one another in the safety and security of our homes. The peace of the Lord. Peace, peace be, be with, with you. you. Peace be with 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 you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God of justice and love, we give thanks to you that you illumine our way through the life with the words of your Son. Give us the light we need. Awaken us to the needs of others. And at, and at the, the end, end bring, bring all the world to your feast, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom. Teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Receive the blessing. The God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in abundance with Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. The God of hope fill, fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The God of all grace bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Who are we? We are a Christian community. Practicing discipleship as we worship, learn, and serve.